David Shaw here with another off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., come visit my site, offtherecordtours.com. Let's go. Medgar Evers is an American martyr. He grew up in Mississippi. After high school, he joins the Army and fought in the Battle of Normandy in World War II. He returns home and graduates from Alcorn State College. Evers was an insurance salesman, but his real vocation was organizing. He began a boycott of gas stations that refused blacks the use of their restrooms, helped James Meredith enroll in the University of Mississippi. He organized protests about the segregation of Biloxi's beaches and helped integrate Jackson's buses and public parks. He led voter registration drives and used a boycott to integrate the Mississippi State Fair. But all his activism attracted the attention of the Ku Klux Klan and the White Citizens Council. Evers lived in constant fear for his life. In the dark hours of the morning of June 12, 1963, Evers returns home from a voting rights meeting. As he gets out of his car, he's shot in the back. He falls to the ground and staggers to his front door where his wife finds him. He's taken to a Jackson hospital where he was initially refused treatment because of his race. He dies 50 minutes later. He was 37 years old. If you have any problems understanding what the phrase Black Lives Matter means, look no further to the trial of Evers' killer. Byron De La Beckwith, a member of the White Citizens Council and the Ku Klux Klan, was arrested for the murder, but all white juries twice deadlock and do not convict him. Clearly to the jurors of Mississippi, Evers' life did not matter. Beckwith was free for the next 30 years, but in 1994, the federal government, having new evidence, tries Beckwith again. This time, he is found guilty. He dies in prison. 3,000 people gather in this space for Evers' military burial. After Evers is laid to rest, his wife and brother and thousands of others go back to do the work for which he died. Well, I hope you enjoyed that off-the-record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., things seen and unseen, arrange your tour of your nation's capital at offtherecordtours.com. Until then, I'm David Shaw.